Southern Country Living, and today I'm making shrimp, bacon, and corn chowder, and uh, I hope everyone is having a great day today. Uh, it's beautiful here today. It's a little cold or chilly this morning. It's in the 40s, and so I think this will be a great meal for me and Kevin to have today, and uh, it's real easy, and uh, it's I know it's going to be really good, too. So let me get over here and start uh, frying up my bacon. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fry up five uh, pieces of bacon. And when I get this bacon all fried up, I'll be back. And now I'm going to turn my bacon over and brown it on the other side. Okay, my bacon is ready now, so I'm going to remove it from uh, my pan and uh, remove all the oil except a tablespoonful. Love how bacon smells when it's cooking. I sure do. I really do. It and onions is just great to smell. <laughs> Best part of cooking. Okay. Alright, I've got my bacon cooked up now, and so, uh, like I said, I'm going to drain this grease, but set a tablespoon of it. Alright, I have a pound of shrimp here in my bowl, and I'm going to cook it for about three to four minutes on medium heat. tablespoon of bacon fat in my pan. Okay, I'm going to cook this until it turns pink. Dogs are really barking a lot this morning. I'm hoping that your new microphone's not picking them up. <laughs> yeah. But they are really having a time this morning. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, 
um, this shrimp is medium shrimp and it has the uh, tails off of it and it's deveined. We've never made corn chowder before, have we, Calvin? No, this is our first time trying it. Yeah, I hope it's good. I've seen this recipe and I thought it would be. Well, the best part is we had an extra pound of shrimp in the freezer, didn't we? Yeah, that's that was one of my reasons for making it. I like the way shrimp starts turning pink in the pan. Okay, it's ready now, so I'm going to uh, bring my platter over here and put it next to my bacon. And I, I don't know if I said this or not, but I cooked this shrimp just till it turned pink about three to four minutes. I think it was closer to four. How that shrimp and bacon looks. Okay, okay. I'm going to turn my heat back on to medium, and I'm going to saute my onion. This is one onion. I added my onion sand. And I'm going to cook it until it's translucent. And also, I'm going to add in my garlic. And I'm going to cook it for about three minutes. Okay, my onions are translucent now, so I'm going to add in the rest of my spices, and uh, this uh, corn chowder will be in the description below, the recipe will be. So I'm going to add in salt and black pepper, thyme, paprika, The recipe called for smoked paprika, but I didn't have it, so I'm just using regular uh, paprika. And then this is a few, this is a pinch of red pepper flakes. And I'm going to cook this for about two minutes. Now it really smells good. <laughs> This um, chowder would be good with uh, cheese biscuits or um, Italian bread, but I think we're going to serve our up today with uh, bread sticks. Okay. This has been cooking my spices for about two minutes. So now I'm going to add in my corn. And my chicken stock.
in my half and half. I'm going to cook this till it comes up to a boil and I'll then simmer it for 15 minutes. Okay, my chowder has came up to a boil now, so I'm going to uh, turn my uh, burner down and I'll, I'll simmer and let it cook for about 15 minutes. My chowder is almost ready. Me and Calvin has really been enjoying all these smells in the kitchen, haven't we, Calvin? Yeah, they're really good. Can't wait to get a bottle of it. Okay, I'm going to use my. Uh, immersion blender to thicken it up a little bit. Did that help, Marie? Yeah, it did help. That looks good, Donna. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm going to turn my burner down. And now then I'm going to add in some shrimp and bacon. That really looks good there. Okay. Right. I'm going to serve me and Kevin up a bowl, and so I'll be back in just a little while. Mm, that really looks good. When this cools off a little bit, I'll do the taste test. Hi everyone, I'm back and I'm ready to do the taste test. What about you, Calvin? <laughs> oh, I'm definitely ready. You see, I had to get in on this one, didn't I? Yeah. I added a little shrimp and more bacon on the top of our um, shrimp, bacon, and corn chowder. Calvin likes to get some good pictures, don't you? <laughs> the, you have to do that to get the good pictures. <laughs> Mm. It's delicious, isn't it? Mm, that's very delicious. Get one more bite with a piece of shrimp in it. I didn't get shrimp first bite. Neither did I. Mm. 
you can taste that smoky uh, flavor in it from the bacon, can't mm -hmm. you? This is very delicious. Mm-hmm. My goodness, Marie. You picked out a good recipe this time. I like this one. <laughs> very, very delicious. So this, we fixing how this is a full meal, aren't we? Mm-hmm. Garlic bread and shrimp bacon corn chowder. Mm-hmm. I like the way you use the immersion blender and you blended it up a little bit to make it just a little bit thicker, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Well, I'll definitely give this one five stars for you, Marie. I really, I enjoy that. As soon as we finish this video, I'm going to go in here and finish this bowl. <laughs> I might want to come back for a second bowl of this. Okay. I give it uh, five stars, too. I thought this was a really good recipe. It was a new recipe for us. Mm -hmm. And um, sometimes when we make the recipes and they're new like that, Mm -hmm. We might be, I might be a little slow <laughs> making them, but um, it's just because they're new and I'm having to um, remember a lot of different steps yeah. and stay in the camera shot and all of that. <laughs> yeah, when you got a camera looking at you straight in the face, it's a little different, isn't it? Yeah. If you didn't have the camera, you'd just be knocking it right oh, out. Oh, right. <laughs> I sure would. <laughs> well, I enjoyed it, Marie. Very good meal. I'm looking forward to finishing it up, okay? Me too. So, y'all do what you love and love what you do, and y'all have a great day. Bye. Santa's coming to visit No, he wouldn't miss